everybody, welcome to the Taco Cat Podcast. Taco Meow. Cat Podcast 22. Am I still on point there, Kenny? You are always on point. All right, great. I'm glad I'm on point. So, welcome everybody to uh, this edition of the Taco Cat Podcast. With me on the podcast, as always, is Jake, Tyler, Tyler Hobach. Tyler, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Great. And Kenny, of course. Kenny? As sound as a pound, love. Sound as a pound. Sound Fantastic. As a pound. So, um, we're here and we're going to uh, talk about... Uh, games and stuff have you started the thing uh, yes i started okay. the thing don't worry okay, I got this. Right, i'm just just checking just making sure that everybody's job gets done because you know you almost didn't plug the camera into the audio eh. so it would have been a bit of a nightmare trying to sync it isn't that your job though uh, it, anyway so <laughs> see but see but i delegate the jobs that's my job no. So anyway, so um, I wanted to say again before we start the podcast that we're going to be again at uh, we're gonna have a booth at Sack Anime this year. Sack Anime in September from I believe the third to or is it the second to the fourth? I think is what it is. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna be the Sacramento Convention Center, and we're gonna be there um, all the weekend. And we're going to have a couple cool things that are going on at our booth. We're going to do um, Let's Plays with a couple people. Um, have some games. We're going to do a podcast and a bunch of other fun stuff there that we haven't even uh, all figured out yet. But nope. it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And it'll be great to come out to see you out there. So, again, that is Sack Anime Summer, September 2nd through the 4th. Hope to see you there. Yes. So let's go ahead and jump into the podcast list. This is what we got to talk about our talking points today. So... Uh, first, we have uh, The Last Guardian. Some new gameplay details were released, and the uh, release date has been confirmed within yes. 2016 this year. Yes. Um, also, uh, Minecraft has a new mode called Battle. It's mm-hmm. battle mode, and they've revealed details about that. Uh, Pokemon Go battle mechanics and gym details have been revealed. And No Man's Sky has reportedly been delayed into August, I believe. Womp womp. So we'll have, uh, we'll have everything about that. So let's go ahead and talk about Last Guardian without further ado. Let's start there. So Last Guardian um, is from, the, I believe, Team Ico, right? The people who made uh, Shadow Colossus, Shadow Colossus and, and Ico. 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 Ico? It's Ico. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Ico, Ico. Doesn't matter. Great game. Ico. Yeah. Fa- fantastic game. And so uh, this is... Very see, heavily story-driven games. I mean... Very much. There's not, there's not a whole lot of... You don't find gear. You don't really find items or level up. You just go from point A to point B, take it in this massive world, mm-hmm. which you don't know anything about. Nope. Like, yeah. you go in there blind, and you kind of figure things out as it yes. goes. Well, you know, to be honest, it seems pretty similar to Ico, mm-hmm. and it seems pretty and it's all this pretty much the same art style mm-hmm. throughout the three games mm-hmm. um i gotta tell you when this thing was first released uh, was first revealed at e3 i was uh let's just say i was unimpressed because the the graphic quality and everything that especially with how long supposedly it had been in development yeah. up until that point it was supposed it, to be a ps3 game it was, a, right. it was supposed to be like to be released with the ps3 yeah, it was, it? yeah it was supposed That's to be like right. it was supposed and to be like we're <laughs> midway through ps4 mm-hmm. life cycle and now the ps4 actually, is going through its midlife cri- yeah. midlife crisis well, as actually, is the one <laughs> yes exactly we, we actually we might be at the end of this console generation which is fucking well, ridiculous not necessarily at the end of the console generation but at, at its midpoint yeah, yeah which is really weird that came up really quickly so, yeah it's at the same midpoint that the ps3 came through when it had its re-release as a smaller console yeah and then with the xbox 360 elite and with the xbox 360 slim yeah well anyway so on so back on to back on to what we were talking about yes. so um like i said i, I like i wasn't i wasn't really impressed and it seemed to be like it was a late generation mm-hmm. Uh, late life cycle PS2 game, early PS3 game, and I looked at the gameplay trailers that that we had, uh, that they released, and I gotta say, it it was better. Yes, but it still didn't scream next gen. But I don't know if that's really within the art style. I mean, I know the the art style looked is very distinctive. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it looked nice, but mm-hmm. it's just it was just off. You know what I mean? Yeah, but with this with this kind of game, I, I I'm just more excited for the story. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think they're taking a very interesting approach with. Uh, I don't re- I don't remember how know how they pronounced its name. The the monster Trico Trico Trico, Trico whatever Trico, Trico whatever it's a going wild to be. Trico appears. Whatever it's going to be, um, they're gonna make it feel like an actual 
organic being. Yes. Like in the beginning, it's not going to trust you. It's not going to listen to you. It's going to do its own thing. <laughs> you don't have enough badges to train me. Exactly. You know, in um, order to do something, it's going to take a nap. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to be interesting because it, I don't feel like we it. always go through a game like expecting the companion to help us. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, what happens when this companion? doesn't want to do what we say. Mm-hmm. Um, do we have to wait until it changes its mind? Do we... I mean, what objectives do we have to fulfill to solve a puzzle? Or yeah. are we just going to be screwed waiting for well, this I thing mean, to say, all right, fine. Well, I mean, that's already also happened in gaming mm-hmm. with um, a game that I'm very familiar with and I like a lot. Kind of happened in Bioshock Infinite between Booker and Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. Because Elizabeth did not trust Booker in the beginning. Mm. She didn't. I never had issues with Elizabeth, though. Like, even from the get-go when you first get her, mm. she was always helpful. She's always helpful, but I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about from a gameplay aspect. Though. In the gameplay aspect, she's phenomenal, but I'm talking about from a story aspect. Yeah, from a story aspect. Yeah. She does not trust Booker at all in the beginning. Yeah, well, but that doesn't really affect the gameplay, though. Yeah. She's always just been the, the, the assistant AI. Mm-hmm. Now, this yes. is an AI that doesn't trust you story-wise, but now that's going to affect... prove itself. Too. Yeah. But this is also going to affect the gameplay yes. itself. So, so did they did they uh, show anything else of, like, what the story was going to be or anything like that? Did they talk about that? No, because... Just more gameplay. Yeah, it's like, because they were... They, it seemed like they were pretty sketched, like, pretty slim on details when it comes when it comes to the story, which I, I don't... Fine by me. Yeah, yeah, which is which is fine. I'm wondering if it's going to take on more of, a like, a, an Ico kind of feel, like, where, like, because, you know, you have to escort the, the light princess, whatever... She she yes. was through mm-hmm. the through the Shadow Temple stuff, and so I wonder if that's going to be like what you're doing this time. It definitely and does look more partner centric. Yeah. yeah. So I, I wonder I wonder if that's the the style that they're going to take it because that was sure. a good that was a fun game it was very interesting at the time, um, and you know Shadow of the Colossus I don't really know how you would really do that with this specific one but i don't know the, it, the they, scope of trico when compared to the main character yeah okay fair enough also trico apparently can shoot laser beams out of its tail <laughs> to destroy yes. mountainsides yeah so you know who knows maybe the final challenge is to fight a colossus, fight a colossus. That's like a, <laughs> trico that's like use a, hyper beam it's like a <laughs> it super effective. moving fortress that chucks lightning at you yeah so, um, so uh, last minute thoughts on this one because I want to move on to the next bit. Um, so, what uh, are you guys excited for this? Do you think it's what, what, do, you, what do you think we're, we're going to see when it comes out of it? I personally, I think it's a little too early to do a whole lot of speculation on it, uh, even though it's supposed to get released later this year. Um, tomorrow, <laughs> they, like, they literally just say yeah, tomorrow. Just drop it. Wow, that, that would be a really bad marketing campaign. That Can you would, imagine would. the mad scramble just to get a copy though? You know, I don't think there would be much of a madness to grab a copy. Oh, come on, the old fans like, out there. It's like when the Xbox One was announced and the Xbox 360 that was supposed to be modeled after it came out, <laughs> and it was released, and that was released at E3, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it came. It comes out today." Oh yeah, Go get it. <laughs> You're right. Mm, or like, or or uh, Fallout Shelter, but I still don't <laughs> think that I don't, I don't I don't think that they would do that. That would just be ridiculous. No. <laughs> But um, no, I'm I'm super excited for this game. I've been waiting for this game for years. Um, are, it you was big, actually, are you a big Shadow of the Classes fan? Yeah, I'm actually a huge fan. It was actually uh, my uncle and I. He got it from uh, like a friend of his. He like you know bought it like a bundle of games for like twenty bucks, mm-hmm. and that was one of the games we played. And we always played games together, but we it, it was always like Star Wars Academy where we like versed each other and stuff. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and all of a sudden it comes this game where you know you're playing by yourself. And there's there's nothing. There's literally nothing to go on. There's no guide on how to beat these things. Just sword guides you with light. Mm-hmm. Kill this thing. Okay. <laughs> so we had to go back and forth. You know, trade. You know, details about how. Like, how'd you beat this guy? Oh, you know, I I did this. Oh, that's what I need to do. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing is, I just found out like a couple months ago. That apparently, there's like lizards in that game. Yep. That yeah. <laughs> increases your stats and stuff, like your yep. health and your. Yeah, my uncle and I've never found any of those. <laughs> yep. Shoot. The, yep. You shoot the salamanders, and they give you increased health. So yeah, learn something new every day. Yeah. Would have been helpful. I'm not mean, super stoked. Super. All right. Right on. How about you, Ken? I was a fan of Shadow of the Colossus. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way the game was done with the story and how you never really know if you're the good guy or not. Whereas in this one, it seems just, it seems to just be more partner-centric. You seem yeah. to just be kind of leading this thing around and hoping it 
you know does what you want it to do. Mm-hmm. Please help. As for the as for the game, as for how the game will perform, do I think it's going to set the world on fire? No. Huh. Mm-hmm. But I do think it's going to do good. Yeah, I think it'll do well. And I, I was a big Shadow of the Colossus fan. I played Ico too, and um, I was a, I, I was a really big fan of it. But it's it fell off my radar, and yes. I hadn't really put much stock into it until sure. actually you brought it up. I was like, oh, hey, yeah, that's right. That is a thing. I forgot about that. Right. So, anyway. So, let us know what you think uh, if you were a fan of Shadow of the Colossus or Ico or if you're looking forward to The Last Guardian. So, Last Guardian confirmed for release later this year. So we'll believe November that. 9th. Is that is that because I that the date was that the yeah. date because I I didn't see a, a specific date. Right, I, think cool. it, I think it's I think it's in November or close enough to the holidays. That would fit within the release window. Christmas release yes. uh, window. All right, so Minecraft has a new mode called Battle Mode. Battle uh, so so we'll talk so we'll talk about this. Um, so from what I got from reading the article was that it was basically. Like the Minecraft multiplayer battle, Hunger like Games, like the Hunger Games that you yeah. can do normally with people. Yes. That's what it looked like to me as and well. And they're charging you like five bucks for it. No, no, no. I, I reread the article. Uh, the game itself, the the battle mode is free. Okay. It's new maps that are two ninety nine. Which is weird, considering how large Minecraft is with its different biomes. So you're telling me right now what? that Mojang is going off of the Activision respawn. I guess we're getting a new island. <laughs> what? what? I don't. Uh, Cloud a City. S- I don't know. It's, it's a procedurally generated world. Not, on, not only that. that <laughs> not only that, but it's a game know. primarily centered around character creation and creating your own world. Yeah, you yeah. turn that island, you make whatever the hell you want. Well, it's like and it's like it's it's something completely new for every person. I mean, there's there's some there's some likelihood that it's going to be the same, but it's very very I, slim slim. Dude, you guys know how I feel about Minecraft. I've never been a fan from the get go. I'm still not a fan. You're weird. You're just weird. You're I just don't you're, like it. you're weird. I mean, I I get the appeal to it. I just You need to be told what to do. No, not even. It's just Well, no, you need a game that gives you a direct story and a direct objective. You know, I, doesn't Minecraft have a, like a story mode? Like in, no. Like in, isn't the main goal that to depen- defeat the Ender Dragon? That depends. Are we in Mojang or Telltale? Yeah. Oh, no, not Telltale. Telltale is like, Telltale is its own thing. That doesn't yeah, count. Because that, that, that's technically story mode. But no, um, no, it really, it really doesn't. It's literally so up you to your to tell imagination. Me that these these people have been playing this game, just building houses, and one of the side, I'm gonna kill this this creature because it exists. Yep. See, those are the real people that have issues. Tyler, that's what we do when we play dice games all the time. Can I kill it? Does it have stats? Yep, I'm going to kill it. No, I usually wait for it to attack me. Or if it has loot. So there's always a reason. There's no reason okay, to kill so the Okay, so I just heard that entirely wrong. I heard, or wait until it has lube. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on with you, Tyler? There's always time for lubricant. It's men- it's, it's, it, no, it I, brandishes the lube bottle menacingly. I've Like I said, I've never really been a Only big the fan button. of it. But I get the appeal. And now there's battle mode. Um... And apparently, ma- new maps. I don't get, I don't get how that's gonna work. I was like, is it gonna be? I think they're, I think they're, they're maps specific to that game type, or yeah. the game, or, or that mode. So there's so they'll and, be like maps in like specific biomes, or in the mm-hmm. Nether, or in the End. And there, and I think they're gonna have respawning uh, loot chests yes. and things like that, as well as other things. But the thing is, like for me, it's like. I got it for a computer. I got it for PC. Just wait for the mod to come out. I was, well, no, I was you like, don't even do you don't that because that. No, you can go into the dedicated servers that yeah. already have yeah, this. Yeah, there, there are multiplayer you know, servers, and there's a bunch of people that hire that that do maps specifically for this that you mm-hmm. can go on and, and do that at any time. Not only that, but there's other things to do other than battle. I mean, there's also you know football-style games. There's sports-style games. Olympics. I think they made their own game called Spleef, which is... Yeah, heck is Spleef. There's, there's also there's like go kart ones to as go karting mineo kart the d- a person built a working computer in minecraft mm-hmm. yes and now they're just coming and you out can, it's like, and now and you can't see the appeal of minecraft <laughs> no i, you're, you're I just, didn't say that i said <laughs> i see the appeal to it i just don't like the game itself for people me. have you're recreated just, middle earth oh no the death star the entire west midlands of and the entirety Westeros. of, of and no, the entirety west of midlands of the uk West the entirety of Generation of 1 Pokemon, and you're telling me you're not Pillar interested. of Autumn. No, I... See, it's it's that, just not my kind of games that I like to play. Like, got, I see why no ma- people like you got it. no imagination, Tyler. Just, just no, no creativity. You, you've got no... Not a single creative bone in your body. 
I would no shut up I just don't like play- <laughs> if I'm gonna play with Legos I'm gonna go out there go to Walmart buy a box set and build whatever the okay I okay, want. okay so, so then okay, you so, prefer okay. Mario Maker to Minecraft no so, I don't like Mario Maker so so, you, so Mario Maker is evil you're, you're gonna Those you're gonna spend crazy you're gonna spend three hundred dollars buying a twenty four piece what Lego you, set dude you, you tripping get the big box jumble set for like twenty dollars that has like a thousand pieces in it or whatever oh you're so cute when you're naive no 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 it's not that it's not that cheap dude lego has a lego the big jumble mix bundle of whatever oh no lego pieces they didn't use for the sets you're you're, you're gonna you're gonna at least probably get like 80 to 100 dollars. i'm not even joking lego is way overpriced not and and especially if you get and if you want to get into the brand if you want to get into the brand but here's the thing minecraft thing but okay you know you know what i find funny though is tyler you say you're not into minecraft you're not into a game where that's that that large in scope and that large in creation yet you're so excited for no man's sky yeah i i was excited for no man's sky until very re- very very recently uh-huh. uh i hadn't been paying attention to the news because i w- didn't want anything spoiled i when i got no man's sky like like movies uh books uh, and tv shows and games i try to avoid everything about games i want mm-hmm. okay. interesting to minor details this backfired on me <laughs> it did backfire <laughs> this, on you this, because... har- this hardcore backfired on me not because of the delay but because it's not mass, it's not a multiplayer game. Nope. Mm-hmm. You can run into people. Yep. But the chances of that happening are like it's slim to none. Very slim. Super slim to none. And <coughs> I'm super sad about that because that's like the type of game I would love to be like, hey guys, let's go explore this planet together. Let's be adventurers. Now you're stuck in a, a void. An endless void of planets and creatures all by yourself meeting NPCs that don't even speak your language that you have to learn. I mean, that's cool and all, but I want to share that experience with people. Mm-hmm. You know, you would probably like, uh, if you like, if you, if you want that, that whole like explorative thing or something like that, mm-hmm. um, you would probably really like, um, uh, Elite Dangerous, although that probably the learning curve on that game is pretty steep. But you probably really, dangerous, yeah, Elite Dangerous, yeah. It's it's a it's a space flight sim that uh, is actually a remake of an old game called Elite Star Citizen, actually. So so Star uh, Star, Star, Star Citizen, Citizen is another one that looked also really good. Game on ship. But let's stick to No Man's yeah, Sky. So let's go to No Man's yes. Sky. So so it has been delayed until again again until August. Yes. Um, which you know honestly I'm not surprised, and the reason I'm not surprised is because it's. That, you know, that's that's a lot of a game to promise that that's these developers are, way are too much you know, to promise. And so it's like you know, uh, I, you know, I'm totally fine with them if them delaying it a little while longer sure. to get as much of it as they possibly can oh, into yeah. it. That's fine by me. I just don't want it to get like you know have that ambitious have that ambitious project just shut down mm-hmm. at the end of it because it's you know just getting pushed back further and further and further. And I know that you know a lot of publishing houses are like that. Yes. So that's something that that is a little you know wearying of on me but um mm-hmm. i'm real i'm still the hype train is still is still f- in full force i mean it, i see the gameplay because apparently that's all they've been doing is just pushing out gameplay videos left right up down i cannot if i type in no man's sky there's 50 search results of gameplay from the creators mm-hmm. different videos that are each like a half hour to an hour long mm. and the only thing we know as as the players is the goal is to reach the center of the universe. That's what the goal is? That's the goal. You reach the There's center a goal. of the universe. That is the main, main goal. Do mm-hmm. you do it? You don't have you you can you can say screw all to the to the center of the universe and do whatever you want. But from the gameplay and trailers I've seen, it doesn't look like it's a foot race. Mm-hmm. It looks like uh, I've, uh, just like it's it's explorative. Hey, well, it's like the Halo lore. Remember Halo One, where you find out there's like this ancient alien race, and they left all this technology around. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, it's kind of the thing that is going on now. There's ancient technology that's just around to be turned on, and people walking through portals. I saw in one trailer. So I don't think. The goal is to reach the center. I don't think you need to. Ha- you don't make a beeline. Yeah. You really do have to explore and find this technology around. And and one thing I'm somewhat excited but not for 
What? Is finding a planet that's already been discovered. Discovered? Yeah. Oh, what's this marvelous, majestic creature called? Dog bollocks. Lovely. <laughs> so now I'm going to make it my mission in life to get that game and make sure I visit every single planet before you do discover you it. There's li- you we the way the game and works. And name we everything. Start on different. We start on the edges of the galaxy or universe. I'll make it my goal. Mm-hmm. You could try, but that would take you for like who knows how long. And I'm already going, so. That's okay. I, I can Twitch stream that shit and, and make next a bunch of dank ass memes and make a I, shit ton of money. I end up through Don't a portal. Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. So Kenny. now here's another thing that my main. Uh, I concern. get this hand. <laughs> another of my main concern for the game is it's randomly generated planets. Yes. With creatures. Mm hmm. Um, uh, one thing that was brought up to me, uh, there's going to be very, very similar looking creatures on very different planets. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be very disappointed if three planets in, I've renamed a different colored long neck dinosaur or something else because its shade was different. Mm-hmm. Or it was walking in an ice zone. Like one you desert. named Shadow Beast and the other one is a different color. You named Boner Fart. Boner Fart. Exactly. <laughs> Which and another thing, what's I, the point of naming these things if no one's gonna see them? Well, I, I I think they will eventually see them. And and here's the thing, you know, it, you know the life could evolve in the same way on a different planet. You know what I mean? Either that, or as an adventurer, you could be sharing your discoveries with the world. Yeah, I think that's also yeah, another cool. Big, if they had like a little like their its own well, internal I internet. Do. Which I imagine yeah, they'll do. Yeah, I, I imagine they would do that. Yes. Hey, look at this! Someone discovered this freaky thing. What's it called? You know, I you know George. I, I, I wonder just if they're going it George. I wonder if they're gonna like how they're gonna censor, you know, people. You know, we'll yeah. find ways because <laughs> we, we we will find ways to because just, the internet is a very very bad place. Well, yes. like, well, I mean, people suck. Well, well, I mean, I know this, but I mean, like, they're, they're probably the not gonna, my first planet. They're probably, <laughs> people suck. <laughs> they're probably not gonna like you know let you you know use a long string of profanities, but like you know, I wonder if they're gonna like you know like stop you from naming a species you know you know that looks like a, a penis like a, a senior cock on face. The, sen- the you're just cock on face. It walk by and you're like, come on, it's too easy. You got you got to uncensor this. So I can't name my first uh, my first planet the Republic of Dam. I don't know, Dam. Depends on how you spell it. Depends on how you spell it. D A M. D A M. There you go. It's think about fine. it. Just think about it for a minute. It's yeah. an acronym. The Republic of Dam. No. <laughs> but, anyways, and here's another moving thing. on. What happens when I run into another traveler? Um, I don't know. Hi, guy. Hi. Are you friendly? Do you have a gun? Do you have a we gun? We all have guns. Put all it right. down, man. Put it down. So that's going to go from explore- So that's going to go from exploration immediately into day Z. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you know, here's here's the or thing. Immediately into H one Z one. Eat the drink the bleach. Yeah. Here's <laughs> here's the thing. It. Here's the thing for me. Once I had a gun and I met other people with guns, they were less likely to shoot me. Yes. Yeah, but we all start with guns. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm still going to shoot them. <laughs> so an armed society is a polite society. No, because if I found someone on a planet that I thought I discovered, I'm killing them and na- renaming the planet. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, and I'm gonna but kill you. Rename well, they the do. They plant a flag. It's theirs. They don't yep. own it. Yeah, tell her. I'll kick it over. Tell, 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 tell the Spanish conquistadors. I am the Spanish conquistador. <laughs> no one expects the Spanish. Con- no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. See, that's the thing. Oh, I want to do that with friends. Why can't I have a bunch of friends form a fleet and conquer planets? Mm-hmm. That'd be so cool. Oh, I'm so sad cool. that this isn't a multiplayer game. So, well, well, well we, we, it still hasn't come out yet. So we're still not entirely sure on all. Of the details, but oh, know, they've made they made it clear that even that it if isn't. You, you could actually, they said that on, on the situation, you could go to the same planet yes. as your friend, and you won't see them because they're yes. on a different server. Oh, okay, I see that. Okay, I understand that. Okay, great. Which is disappointing. Yes. So, final thoughts on No Man's yeah. Sky is I understand why it has to get delayed. It's a large scope of game oh, to. Yeah. Mm. Have to have that needs more time to put more shit in it. I'm not surprised that it got delayed. I yeah. can't wait for it to come out. Mm. It looks interesting, and I, oh, well. I I hope it's that way, and it's not you know the opposite, which is there's like massive yes. game breaking bugs that have to get <laughs> patched out. I can't wait till like but, a planet just like explodes or just cannot be like made in the game so people can fly through it. Oh. But see, my problem is I'm gonna be too busy driving around, going to different monuments, trying to see which uh, pokeballs and eggs I can find. Yeah. So we're going to move yes. on to Pokemon Go. 
So Pokemon game. Go is is uh, like we talked about in the last podcast. It's being done by the same uh, group that did two Ingress. Ago. Uh, two was it two podcasts ago? I think so. Two. No wait. Uh, no, it was last week. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was last week because that because that's from two weeks ago. Anyway, so either way. Anyway, so um, old news. So uh, we talked about that. It's from the same people who are doing Ingress or who did who have done Ingress and yes. they've uh, released. Uh, what screenshot the, after screenshot yeah. of what Pokemon Go is supposed to look like. Yeah, and what the battle mechanics are and the gym details. So I'm going to turn it over to our resident Poke- Poke Master, uh Ken. Kenny, why don't you go ahead and, and tell us or give us a brief of what uh, they have been, what have they released so far? So recently they released about 17 screenshots of what Pokemon Go not only is supposed to, to look like, but how the gym mechanic is supposed to play out. Mm-hmm. So how how is that how is the how is that gonna gonna play out? What how I'm interpreting it is let's say we turn the radio station into, into a, a gym. gym. Yeah. Okay. So like so like a portal. So the three yeah. of us will have control over it. One of us will be the gym leader, mm-hmm. probably Tyler. Um, Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Right on. Like liver. Okay, fine. I'm already liking Fuck this you. idea. Go on, Ken. <laughs> well, no, you'd be the rocket grunt, and I'd be the rocket admin, and Tyler would be Giovanni. Wait, who's the guy at the front door that's always, like, telling him to look out? Can I be Rusty? Of course you can. Shut up, Moving Rusty. Moving on. <laughs> You're a abusive traitor. Mine, why did you put so many Badoofs in one Pokeball? What? I ran out of Pokeballs. What, am I, am I not supposed to catch every Badoof I see? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay. Well, well, ideally, well, ideally not, because who would use Badoof? Yeah. Moving on. Yo. <laughs> so, essentially, people will come by. When we walk in by the station mm-hmm. with Pokemon Go, they'll want to battle us. So uh-huh. they'll go to the gym. If they beat us, then they then that particular team will. So let's say we're all blue team, mm-hmm. and someone from yellow team beats Tyler, and he... and we lose the gym, essentially, to the ball. Oh, so we lose the gym. Oh, okay. So then we have to battle them back for it. Uh, that's oh, bullshit, okay. because my Rattata <laughs> is in a top percentile of Rattatas, and I'm wearing very comfy shorts. Very, very comfy Shut shorts. the fuck up, Youngster Joey. I'm sick of your shit. I will make my avatar look like Youngster Joey, and I will have nothing <laughs> but Rattatas. Welcome to the rat gym. <laughs> Welcome to the rat gym, motherfucker. See, oh, I'm God. surprised you're calling yourself Youngster Joey and not the Rat Master. The Rat Master. <laughs> Re- Master Splinter. <laughs> Master Splinter. <laughs> you guys have Squirtles and War Turtles. Squirtles and War Turtles. And I just have Rattata. Raticate. <laughs> Oh, that's great! Perfect. That's perfect. Oh, that's fantastic. That's that's our gym idea. You no steal one can it, take we that. You. We, we'll, we'll, think, we'll sue you. That's what's gonna happen. What if Jim? Oh, we'll see. What if Jim? Thank you, Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> what if Jim? Oh, yeah, gym leaders want to take over another gym. Like, could we expand? <laughs> could could well, we I mean, like take? Well, no. Over. There'd be other yellow. There'd be other blue team gyms that have other people yeah, residing like, over them. I I yeah, see. I see what they're trying to do. We have our own gym. Like, we'll make the radio station our gym, and then across mm-hmm. the street. They make a blue team gym. Mm-hmm. Can we go over there and just like this is a part of our gym now? Kick their face. Fa- well, no, their all, teeth no, we're, yeah. we're all, no, no, because we're all on the same team. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying if they if, were blue. Yes, if they were blue, if they were blue and we were green, then yes, we could take it. Yes. Yeah. It's it, it, yes. I'm, uh, what I'm assuming is it's exactly like ingress. Ingress. Except mm-hmm. it's split three ways and a lot of different. Uh, Except with a very candy colored glossy Pokemon paint job on it. Yeah. Woo! But yeah. So if you Which played works it, for me. If you played Ingress, I'm assuming the mechanics are going to be very similar. Yes. So that's that'll be easy for me and that'll be that'll be perfect for Cody. Yes, Cody and also the battling adds a very interesting aspect to it. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to work. Like if it's gonna if it's gonna like turn into like you know you you like you pass each other and then it goes like you, know, you see each other and then. You know, how cool would that be if your phone, like, your phone, if you turn on like the Bluetooth, and so it made the battling noise as you walk by somebody? And also, that'd be and so a cool. lot of and something that I noticed too. I read the article. Uh, I did read the article for this. One thing that I noticed is they said they're probably going to add a mechanic that'll make it so that you don't have the Pokemon Go app up to, to still work with it. Oh, okay. Oh, so like have it run in the background. Yes. Okay, I get that. I'm telling you, man. Bluetooth on. You walk by a person. Your phone just all of a sudden goes. You just look it around. Some dude looks you right in the eye. Like, let's do this. Yeah, let's You're like this. across the street from each other, just staring each other down. Go, go, beefy. <laughs> God damn it. 
the <laughs> Butterfree, the cutesy wootsy Pokemon, <laughs> cutesy wootsy <laughs> butterfly Pokemon. Okay. Anyway, so um, how uh, did, did it talk about how uh, how capturing Pokemon was going to work? At all, they had a Pokeballs. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah, it's going to use the Pokeball. And Great Ball and Ultra Ball and Master Ball. But I'm, and I'm assuming other balls to go with it. But I'm just going to so say... So we're just going to be throwing our balls all over these don't, Pokemon. Don't, don't, Kenny. Sticks. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Why? You've, you've, you've exceeded your limit. <laughs> you've exceeded your limit. <laughs> Damn it! Anyway, okay. So let's, let, let us know what you think about Pokemon Go. Uh, it's definitely something I think I'm going to end up sinking quite a lot of time into. Uh, yes. Tyler, I don't know about you, but... You might hey, man, I'm gym leader. It's my responsibility yeah, like, <laughs> to sink some time. It's my in. job. <laughs> it's, it's in my title. Uh, and then, I, obviously, Kenny was going to sink a monumental amount of time into it. Yeah. I Any, swear to God. Anything Pokemon I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mention me because I'm going to be in the Elite Four. Elite Four? Okay. Yeah. So so that's that's Kenny's I'm going to be champion. Like, I'm going to be Actually, the very best. I wonder if that's going to... If they, uh, if they uh, will have an Elite Don't take four. a step for DMCA. <laughs> Probably. Uh, anyway. I wonder how that will work. Do you have to, like, capture so many gym badges? Know. We're running up... Do we get to customize our own gym badge? I don't know. No, no probably not. <laughs> probably not. Doubt it. But anyway, hey, we're we're, we're actually, about to wrap up. We're actually about to wrap up. So the last thing I wanted to talk about on the on the podcast list was just some Shoot. some stuff that we were talking that uh, we talked about about some games that we were playing recently. Yes. And um, is there any current games that uh, that you're playing, Kenny? That you want to talk about real quick? Uh, two in particular, both per- first person shooters. The first one that you've also played, Doom. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. Which is a lot of fun, very intuitive level design, by Rid- far. Ridiculously fantastic, brain-dead fun. It's, yeah, we need an an old-school 80s cheese ball first-person shooter <laughs> that lets us just go around and punching the fuck out of demons. Like, it was like, it was, it was, it was fantastic reproduction of the Doom formula. Yes. Into... 3D, like true yes. 3D, and, and they even took it back to a elements. lot of old school styles and old school concepts. Health packs, armor packs. Mm-hmm. You need to actually, you know, you can't just go around behind a rock and regenerate your health. Yeah. You I gotta can't, go I can't find just wipe my face off the blood and, and it'll be gone. Rip a fingernail <laughs> off. Yeah, <laughs> or I'm drowning. I take <laughs> take a take a, a a piece of rope, light it on fire, and go and just put it into my arm. Fucking or, Far Cry or logic. Ra- or wrap or wrap just some bandages around it. <laughs> And also, over the course of the, of today, I have been playing a lot of Overwatch. Yeah, that one that one just came out. I, I played the beta yes. um, of uh, Overwatch. Tons of fun. A lot of fun. And uh, I I'm looking forward to getting the now. The mind you, copy. I'm getting my ass kicked throughout most of the rounds because mm. I'm bad at games. I'm bad at games. games. Um, but you know, it's still fun. I still you know everyone can still have their moments in that game. I. I think the learning curve is relatively. It, anyone can pick it up. Yeah. But anyone can pick it up, but it takes a lot of time to master, obviously, especially with all the classes and all the skins. Mm-hmm. How about you, Tyler? Have you games you've been playing recently? Uh, I'm a little late to the game, but I've finally been, you know, sinking my hours into uh, Destiny: The Taken King. Still. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Finally got the mechanics down because I don't like to ask for help and I don't like looking up guides. <laughs> So if I can't figure it out, it's impossible. <laughs> if I can't uh, figure it out, it doesn't exist. Exactly. But no, I... How, wait, <sighs> didn't you like just figure out what you can do with yeah. the... What was it? Gear. The infusion. Gear infusion. I couldn't figure it out. And the one reason I couldn't figure it out is because I, I found better gear. Mm. Or our gear I would want to infuse the gear I had equipped with. <clears throat> try and fuse them. But you can't do that because I would unequip the gear you have and the game won't let you be naked. Mm. So, oh, so it has to be no fun. So you have to, you so have you have to, to unequip the gear. the gear and then fuse two pieces of gear that you don't have equipped together. Yeah. And then or there you equip, go. So, or equip the gear you want to have the other item infused into. So I it's like okay. so so you're telling me I can't I can't go running around with my ghost hanging out? It's always hanging out. Mine's always a hanging out. Yeah, tower. mine's always hanging out. I mean And I'm dancing usually. Yeah. <clears throat> one for um for me I mean personally I I can't just let my drag hang out and looking for the nearest servitor. Great. Fantastic. Oh, how you've fallen. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> anyway, so the games that I so the games I've been playing recently, um so I just uh I I you all as you all probably know if you're fans of the podcast or have watched this, I'm a huge fan of Valkyria Chronicles. He is. And I Yeesh. I got the the H D re release for PlayStation Four and I just beat that underwater uh, tank. Yeah, fucking great submarine tank. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you Tyler, know how I feel about Tyler, that. Tyler, I'm just I'm really surprised that out of out of all things anime style, that that is the thing that sticks. It was like two o'clock in the morning when you came across that scene. I was like, hey, this looks like a very interesting game and it looks like it has a nice story. It's what, amazing. What's going on? We're putting our tank underwater. Okay then. It's 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 well, well, unbelievably right great. Then. So it's like so that so I just finished that one, just finished yes. playing that one, and that's like the probably the thirtieth time I've beaten Valkyria Chronicles. This time first time on the PlayStation 4. Yes. And then I got uh the Metal Gear Solid Collection and I've Looting been playing Phantom, and, you and also you just beat Ground Zero. Yeah, I just played Ground Zeros and uh, and the Phantom Pain. And so I'm going back like I played the MGS uh series um like when it not when it first came out because I was a little too young, but yes. like I played it I've played the original ones and I've played all the way up until the new one and so now I'm going back and I'm playing them in chronological order uh, so like help. <laughs> so uh, so now I'm playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater right now for the probably the 10th time and it's the first time I've played it in years and I'm, I, I love the game the, the it's aged pretty well mm-hmm. it's aged surprisingly well um, and uh, the the controls are a little janky like they're not they're they're like you know they're they're in that awkward adolescence phase before they got like you know really hammered out oh, but yeah. uh yeah. But like I can't, step you can do. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't crouch walk. I can only prone crawl and run. So Aww, that's, and you can't do the duck walk. Yeah, that's. We that's, need to have Link from the CDI yeah. games teach Solid Snake how to do that. Yeah, how to do that? Or actually, it's a big boss or Naked Snake. Yeah, actually, naked Snake. Never mind. So anyway, so why don't you go ahead and tell us what you what you've been playing recently in uh, the comments below? So that's gonna wrap it up for us. So uh, thank you guys all for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. I hope we're close to the time I predicted. I predicted. Anyway, so um, Tyler, thanks for joining me. Kenny, thanks for joining me, of course, and I always thank you for joining us as always. Stay tuned to Taco Cat for more content coming up, and uh, we hope to see you out at Sack Anime in September. So, Kenny? And remember, keep being you, because you are awesome. Take care, everybody. Meow, meow, crunch, crunch.